Denmark's stunning 2-0 victory over Germany in the final of Euro 92 in Sweden capped off what was arguably the country's finest sporting achievement. 20 years later and the Danes once again had the chance to write a chapter in their proud footballing history by beating their neighbours. Morten Olsen's side faced the Germans in a Group B showdown in Lviv on Sunday, knowing that a win should be enough to seal a berth in the Euro 2012 quarter-finals. The head coach is optimistic about his team's chances. Yes, it's tough for us, of course. But in sport and football, you just never know what can happen. We were a bit lucky against the Netherlands last time, but we're unlucky against Portugal this time. Maybe we deserve to take a point. But nevertheless, we have three after the first two games. That was our reign beforehand. We knew that the last game against Germany would be tough but we still have a chance. The Danes could have made things easier for themselves going into the last round of group games if they had taken something from their match against Portugal. And Nicholas Bentner Brace had seen Denmark restore parity after having been 2-0 behind, but a late winner from Silvestre Varela broke Danish hearts. Heading into the Germany game, Olsen knows exactly what his team needs to improve upon. Both teams like to play for one another and are very physical. You need to score goals, of course, but if you look at the possession for the game yesterday, it was something like 60-40 in our favour, and we were better on the ball. We shouldn't give away chances so easily, so there are things we need to improve on before playing a team like Germany. With 12 years and three major tournaments as Denmark boss under his belt, Olsen is the longest serving head coach at Euro 2012. He'll still be hoping that his fourth major tournament in charge is one to remember.